So polycarbonate, brand name Lexan, is a type of plastic that's fairly strong for its weight and cost. Um, it is uh, shown here in a twin wall format, which is commonly available in something like a six or eight millimeter thickness. This is a six millimeter nominal sheet, measures just a little under that on the outside, which means you have a polycarbonate, polycarbonate airspace in between with ribs. Um, that air gap on the inside measures just under five millimeters on this six millimeter sheet. But you don't have to get that off the shelf six millimeter size. Uh, you can contact a company called Tonin Polycarbonate online and they'll custom make it for you. This advantage, of course, is bulk purchase. You gotta get like 100 sheets at a time, but the advantage is that you can customize the order. Um, so here I customized it into a four wall, so three air gaps um, for that sheet in the same size and thickness. So it's still a called a six millimeter thick and it measures very close to that, it's still the same. The inside airspace uh, measures about five millimeters, just a hair over, and the second of the three flutes measures close to two millimeters on either side of it, the outside of that center. Because polycarbonate is broken down by the UV light and sunlight, it's important to have at least one side coated with a UV protective film. Um, and then off the shelf products, this is very common, and they usually have a film plastic that you peel off that has writing to indicate which side has that UV protection. That's the side that has to face out toward the sun. Now, some other uh, aspects or details that some people might find interesting is, is the density or weight comparison. So the twin wall, six millimeter, uh, comes in at around um, 1.33 kilograms per square meter. But by the time you get to a quad wall, it's up to 2.05 kilograms per square meter, roughly. Uh, this is about a 53% increase in uh, density. Um, and that's because of the additional material inside. Um, so that's useful to keep in mind for that. So I did order 100 sheets of this custom profile. And the reason that I got that many is first and foremost, as the minimum quantity for the custom order. So I had to get at least 100. So that works out for me in my application. Um, if you're not gonna need that many, you only need one or two sheets or something, you either need to get a hold of a group by where several people need a few sheets, they all can ship together to get that 100, or you're kind of stuck to the off the shelf, six millimeter or eight millimeter that just Home Depot lows kind of keep on the shelf. One of the reasons that I'm okay with the 100 um, is that I'm gonna be doing a variety of testing, um, which, is going to be, which is going to be consuming some of the sheets um, and then I'm also going to be doing a variety of projects, which is when you're going to be consuming sheets. So in some of the testing, I want to compare a regular twin wall six millimeter to the quad wall six millimeter. I also want to split that quad wall three air gaps into a four millimeter triple uh, wall, two air gaps, and a twin wall two millimeter with one air gap. And I want to take those different options of thickness of air gap and how many air gaps and so forth and run some thermal tests on them. Um, and so, and I might do some stress strength testing. I don't know how in depth I'll get into that, just maybe some basics. But after I've done that, then I'll be able to use that to be able to determine how I want to use them. I'm considering using them as a under cooling for the solar panels on my car, the new solar panels on the car, so I can get an airflow under that. Um, if two millimeters is enough, great. It only adds a little two millimeter gap um, if that's all that's needed. But if I need four or six, then there's options. Um, the solar thermal collector I'm going to be building or do a greenhouse or a new uh, heat recovery ventilator. Um, so there's a couple projects that I'm going to be doing after I do the testing. Um, so I'm going to go through them and that's what I'm going to be using them for. Not everybody will fit that same niche. One other negative or aspect of a custom order like this that keep, people should keep in mind is that the timing and some of the side effects. So for instance, um, this ended up taking about three and a half, almost four months from start when I first contacted Tonin Polycarbonate until they actually got at my door. Um, and that's because you gotta get put in their production queue, they gotta make the custom order, they're gonna package it, it's gonna ship halfway around the world or whatever. And that all takes time. Um, and you have to plan that out ahead um, so that you're aware of it and you're okay with it um, and things like that. Uh, in my instance, uh, the price for these worked out to be, um, for the panels themselves, it was only about 36 cents a square foot or $3.91 a square meter. Um, after adjusted for shipping and tax, it ended up being about 96 cents a square foot or 10.28 uh, per square meter. Uh, but sometimes in shipping, you get damage. As you can see here, luckily I only had some minor damage to a little bit of a corner, um, but that's another thing to keep in mind that that can happen. So don't plan to use every millimeter of width or length in every single 100% of every sheet sheet, because when you order a bunch of things like this, the damage can happen. But eventually they all came, now I have them, and I can then start preparing to do some of my um, experimentation and testing before I move on to the projects I'm going to be using to build them with as well. The absolute worst case scenario is at the end, I actually have some leftovers 
And if that possibility happens, um, if you check the pricing at your local Home Depot, Lowe's or whatever, um, Home Depot, uh, Home Improvement Store, you'll see that the pricing that I end up paying for these is actually far less than what it would cost to buy them there. So there is the possibility that any leftovers I end up with at the end, I'll be able to resell um, to someone else who's having a greenhouse or someone else who's making a solar thermal collector or a heat recovery ventilator or whatever, whether it's Craigslist or online or something. So I will... I'm not too concerned about that. I'll be able to do that. Um, they'll get them cheaper than what they can buy them locally and they won't go to waste.